so we're out here at a property today for a locate dig pump out inspection so got the clean out over here looks like a four inch line that's a uh, usually perfect size because uh, I've seen three inch tend to clog up a lot so you can see it's heading in this general direction uh, look like we got a bit of a dead spot and I'm hoping that's where the septic tank is oh yeah right here under my feet but I mean that very well might be just the pipe Let me get the let me get the snake out here and run it down and see where it ends up. This has to have a turn or something. So we're gonna find this the easy way now with the flushable. You just drop that down in there. And then use the water. That should be enough to take it. Okay, so we got one pole. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we landed about right here. I can feel something. All right. Open these roots haven't got on here. Oh shit. Okay, más agua, creo.
aquí. Creo también es la pipa allá. Aquí. Agarra ese azul y los uh, shovels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just gotta open it up a little more this way. Yeah. I like these shovels. Yeah. yeah. some beautiful soil. a little bit more to clean it up. Hopefully this isn't too... There we go. All right, so this is gonna be the inlet side where our flushable is. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's not bad at all. Be 
be able to get this back and reuse it. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Creo que este van a entrar aquí también. Voy a poner agua para. All right, so we got the inlet and the outlet both dug up. We ran water for 20 minutes. Everything seems to be flowing just fine. And that just goes to show you that a septic tank water level is always going to be up to the inlet and the outlet. Uh, what becomes a problem is if your drain field stops working, you're going to notice a swampy area above the septic tank. So there's an old saying that the grass is greener over the septic tank. Actually, here in Texas, the grass is usually drier over the septic tank. If it's uh, green, you've got a leak somewhere. And uh, the, gr the drain field should be that nice, bright strip of green grass. So... The sludge levels don't look too bad in this, but it is an inspection, so we're going to go ahead and pump it out just so we can check for any cracks, and just so we document the shape of the septic tank itself. There's some instances where there's a crack, the tank is cracking, it's corroding, so we want to make sure we're able to see that. Uh, roots can become a big problem too, and sometimes you can't see it until you pump it all the way down, so we're going to go ahead and get that done right now. Yeah, but in the... though it doesn't look that bad just want to make sure you get everything stirred up it up nice So now that we got the tank pumped out, I'm gonna use my selfie stick to throw my phone down in there and get a view of what the inside of the tank looks like. We're checking for any cracks, we're checking for roots. Anything that be could, could become a potential problem for the new homeowner. All right, so I can see the middle baffle 
the PVC T is attached. So I'm going to do a 360 view all the way around the edge of the tank. Like I said, this is just to make sure that we don't have any cracks, roots, any other structural problems with the septic tank itself. Yeah, so you do 0.5 on iPhone, you're able to get a pretty dang good view all the way around when you have the uh, light on. And that's that. So I'll go through and take screenshots to put on the report. I'm going to go around and take pictures of all the cleanouts, where they're at, make sure the uh, caps are there, and then we should be good to go. So we've got everything finished up. All that's left to do is fill out the report and get that sent over to the customer. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions about your septic tank or just anything related to septic, drop it down in the comments down below. If you want to get some merch like this Poor Pumper Society hat or that Poor Pumper Society Smells Like Money hoodie, you can go to my website, poorpumpersociety.com. And if you want to check out any of the tools that I use in my video, like this uh, TNT Tools Mighty Probe or the hoses on my truck, you can check the description down below. Those are affiliate links, so it's going to help out me and help out the channel. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care.